We can play the German if you have the idea of us talking with this year. And I'm here to review the Thomas episode, The Christmas Coffee Farm. So this episode is about when Marion is digging up, um, well, Tom, well Marion is on Thomas' farm farm digging up some old sticks and wood until he meets a so called talking tree. What imagination she has. And then, um, nobody believes, um, nobody believes Marion, but Marion thinks that the, top, the fact controller would listen to her. I almost said to stop her, because I watched the US dub, sorry. And Thomas decides to look for himself, and when, th- and when Thomas, Thomas is dry from time and cut down the trees, is actually the green the coffee pot engine. You know, from Adventure Begins. And since they think the a fat controller Oh god, this is here the mess all over again. Since if if the the Thomas says he think if the fat controller finds green, if he think they think that it's gonna scrap him. And why is the prize? The fat controller doesn't want to scrap grain. And they also draw six into a single series doors. Why are the other four doors taking him? Because Thomas mentioned that Stephen is old as grain and Stephen is still working. Yeah. And then uh Gwen Gwen is arriving at the girls' Christmas party, and they have a happy ending. So then, now we will all explain this first episode. Why? Green the coffee pot engine, duh. The adventure begins. When we saw Green in the, the adventure begins, we just had to have episodes about them. And luckily, two of them arrived. Well, I think of the hell's about more about Stephen and Gwen. But anyways, now this is what you call now the Christmas coffee pot is what you call a good episode. I love this one. First one must to say is it's great to see Marion again. She's actually becoming one of my favorite characters of Thomas. She's just a funny steam shovel character, and it. Given them more development from season 18, so the friends of Las Vegas, minor cameo in The Great Race, season 19, and now this season. So I'm using them more and more, and I really, and I really appreciate that. And I do like um, how they reference when she begins that Gwen, Gwen used to run Thomas's branch line. And then Thomas took over years later. I really do like that. And I do feel like this is cliche where Thomas and Percy think if the fat controller finds Gwen, they think he's going to scrap him. Sounds familiar? Hero of the Rails. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the way it actually worked in. The Hero of the Rails. I do like Hero of the Rails. And, but seeing as here, it's just a bit cliche. And we've seen uh, many times before that angels think they're gonna get scrapped. But turns out they're not. Like, says his big mistake. Three crash on roll. Uh, Thomas for the rescue. What's the other one? Uh, I, I don't think there's another episode on this. And another thing I really like is... Is... The other sort of getting more lines. Like, we had a minor appearance from him in... Diesel's Ghostly Christmas. And we get a bit more lines in this episode from him. Also, um... I like how, um... He also just says, Glen, Glen is the most, most, 
Gwen is the most gracious the friend that I ever owned. And then Stephen looks to his side. We have been left out. Foreshadowing to hell to over the hell. <laughs> and overall though, I think the Christmas coffee part is a great episode. And I think I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's just a great, great episode. Uh, so then, then have you guys, what did you guys think of the Christmas coffee part? Leave your comments down below and let me know. This is JLS, I know. And don't forget to do just that much.